Hey, welcome back. This time we are going to create a handle on our newly created shaft. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch. Create a new sketch and we're going to click right on the end of that shaft and that didn't work. So um, let's escape out of that. Uh, we're going to delete the new sketch. So go there, press delete. Um, oh, hang back, let's stop the sketch. Press delete now, and that's gone back to where we were. Okay, let's try that again. So we're going to zoom in. We're going to click on that surface there, and now we're going to go sketch, create sketch. And we're going to click that surface. That's it. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a rectangle. So we could have pressed the R for rectangle. We're going to have something like that. I reckon we should make it about 15 millimeters long and 20 millimeters wide. Okay, press enter. Um, now, we really want this sketch to be somewhere around here. So we now go and hit D for dimension or go sketch and D down there. But we're going to hit D, see the mouse has changed and we're going to click on there and click on there, drag down and we're going to make that 10 millimeters. And then we're going to click on there and click on there, drag out. And that's also going to be 10 millimeters. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to stop sketch. And now we're going to extrude. What are we going to extrude? We're going to extrude that way. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to go the other way. So we're going to go minus 10. And let's have a look. That's going to join. So that means that this is going to join this part. OK, um, one sided and click OK. There we have a joined part. So if I go and whiz around, you should see a little bit of a gap there. Yeah, um, maybe I should have, if I go and select this. Um, if I go in, can I edit, edit, edit. Edit feature. I'm going to edit this feature here. Uh, let's try again. Edit profile sketch. Edit feature. Extrude 2. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to um, try and offset it. offset plane. So I'm going to offset it by a millimeter. Let's just whiz it around, press shift key. I'm not sure if that's right. So I'm going to make it 10 millimeters. Ah, no, that's the wrong way. So I'm going to make it minus one. There we go. And click OK. Now click there and you can see it's just poking out there. So you can still actually see it. Because if you made it flush with that, in other words, no offset, it just merges into one. There we go.